Hello movie lovers. It's great to see you here. Don't forget to subscribe to catch my daily movie recommendations. Let's dive into the world of cinema together. Number 10, The Edge of 17. The Edge of 17 is a 2016 coming of age comedy drama film about a high school junior named Nadine who struggles to navigate the challenges of adolescence after the death of her father. She feels isolated from her best friend Krista, who starts dating her popular older brother and becomes even more disconnected from her mother, who seems more concerned with her brother's success than with her own problems. Nadine finds solace in an unlikely friendship with her awkward and thoughtful classmate Erwin, who helps her to gain a new perspective on her life. The film stars Haley Steinfeld, Woody Harrelson, and Kyra Sedgwick, and was well received for its honest portrayal of teenage angst and strong performances. Number 9. Juno. Juno is a 2007 coming-of-age comedy drama film directed by Jason Reitman and written by Diablo Cody. The film follows the story of Juno McGuff, a 16-year-old high school student who becomes pregnant and decides to give her baby up for adoption. Along with her best friend, Leah, Juno sets out to find the perfect parents for her baby and ultimately forms a bond with the couple she chooses. The film stars Ellen Page as Juno, with supporting roles from Michael Sarah, Jennifer Garner, Jason Bateman, Allison Janney, and J. K. Simmons. The film was a critical and commercial success, receiving four Academy Award nominations and winning for Best Original Screenplay. Number 8 Lady Bird. Lady Bird is a 2017 coming of age comedy drama film directed by Greta Gerwig. The film is set in Sacramento, California in 2002 and follows the story of Christine Lady Bird McPherson, a high school senior who is eager to leave her hometown and attend college on the East Coast. Lady Bird navigates her final year of high school and the relationships with her family, friends, and first love while trying to figure out who she really is and what she wants to do with her life. The film stars Sowers Ronan as Lady Bird, along with Laurie Metcalf, Tracy Letts, Lucas Hedges, and Timothy Chalamet. Lady Bird was nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay. Number 7 Rebel Without a Cause Rebel Without a Cause is a classic 1955 drama film directed by Nicholas Ray. The film stars James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Sal Mineo and follows the story of Jim Stark, a troubled teenager who moves to a new town and struggles to fit in with his peers and dysfunctional family. Jim finds solace in his relationships with two other teenagers, Judy and Plato, but their friendship is tested as they face conflicts with their families and society. Rebel Without a Cause is widely regarded as a landmark film in American cinema, particularly for its portrayal of teenage rebellion and its impact on youth culture. The film has been recognized by the Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. Number 6 Ferris Bueller's Day Off Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a 1986 teen comedy film directed by John Hughes. The movie follows high school senior Ferris Bueller, who decides to skip school and spend a day in downtown Chicago with his girlfriend and best friend. While they try to have the perfect day, Ferris's principal is determined to catch him in the act and make him pay for his truancy. The movie stars Matthew Broderick as Ferris Bueller, with supporting performances from Mia Sara, Alan Ruck, and Jeffrey Jones. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is considered a classic coming-of-age movie and is known for its iconic scenes, such as Ferris singing Dank Schoen at a parade and Cameron's famous freak out at the art museum. Number 5 The Breakfast Club The Breakfast Club is a 1985 coming-of-age comedy drama film directed by John Hughes. The story follows five high school students from different cliques who are forced to spend a Saturday together in detention. Throughout the course of the day, they come to realize that they are not so different from each other and develop a newfound understanding and respect for one another. The film starred Emilio A. Stavis, Anthony Michael Hall, Judd Nelson, Molly Ringwald, and Ally Sheedy, and has become a cult classic over the years for its portrayal of teenage angst and social dynamics. It has been praised for its honest and nuanced portrayal of adolescence and its exploration of issues such as identity, 
class, and stereotypes. Number 4 Boyhood Boyhood is a 2014 coming-of-age drama film directed by Richard Linklater. Filmed over the course of 12 years, it tells the story of a young boy named Mason Eller Coltrane as he grows up in Texas. The movie follows Mason as he experiences different stages of childhood and adolescence, along with his sister Samantha, his mother Olivia, and his father Mason. Through the lens of Mason's life, the film explores themes of family, identity, and the passage of time. Boyhood was widely praised for its innovative filming technique and its ability to capture the essence of growing up. It received numerous awards, including the Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture Drama, and was nominated for several Academy Awards, winning Best Supporting Actress for Arquette's performance. Number 3, Almost Famous. Almost Famous is a 2000 coming-of-age film written and directed by Cameron Crowe. The movie follows the story of a young music enthusiast named William Miller, who is given the opportunity to write for Rolling Stone magazine and cover the tour of an up-and-coming rock band in the 1970s. As William joins the band on their tour bus, he navigates the complexities of life on the road, learns about the highs and lows of the music industry, and develops close relationships with the band members. The film features an ensemble cast that includes Billy Crudup, Kate Hudson, Francis McDormand, and Patrick Fugit as William. Almost Famous was praised for its authentic portrayal of the music industry and received four Academy Award nominations, winning Best Original Screenplay. Number 2 The Perks of Being a Wallflower The Perks of Being a Wallflower is a 2012 coming-of-age drama film based on the 1999 novel of the same name by Stephen Chabosky. The movie follows Charlie, a shy and introverted high school freshman who struggles to fit in and make friends. As he navigates through the challenges of adolescence, he becomes friends with a group of seniors who welcome him into their world of music, literature, and parties. Together, they experience the joys and pains of growing up, facing issues such as love, loss, mental health, and abuse. The film stars Logan Lehrman, Emma Watson, and Ezra Miller, and has received critical acclaim for its honest portrayal of adolescence and its soundtrack featuring classic hits from the 80s and 90. Number 1 Dead Poet Society Dead Poet Society is a 1989 drama film directed by Peter Weir and starring Robin Williams. Set in a prestigious all-boys preparatory school in Vermont in 1959, the film follows a new English teacher, John Keating, who uses a orthodox methods to inspire his students to think for themselves and pursue their passions. Keating encourages his students to seize the day and make their lives extraordinary, which inspires them to revive a secret society called the Dead Poet Society, dedicated to the pursuit of beauty and truth in literature. However, when the school's strict traditions clash with Keating's teachings, it leads to a tragic and unforgettable conclusion. The film received critical acclaim and was nominated for four Academy Awards, winning Best Original Screenplay. 